Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Part 3. Um, now the fun thing about debug mode... <laughs> about debug mode is that on the main screen that you can go to a window that shows you every recorded line for some reason. And my favorites are just imagining the actors in the booth doing these things. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that for now. I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, um, let's begin our herbology class. Welcome, class. I am Professor Sprout. Today we'll learn the incendio spell, which is useful against all manner of dangerous plants. Observe the correct incendio symbol. Now to show my Put master and drawing the skills. Button, then release the button. Why? <laughs> Incendio! Good work, Mr. Potter. You have great potential. Five points for Gryffindor. If you think so, Professor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Like I used to get in the 90s. <laughs> That's good for a first year wizard, Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. Yes, I'm 11, it's okay. Try to go a little bit quicker this time. Okay, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> Great incendio, Mr. Potter. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. Try to go a little bit quicker this time. Ah, uh, lost it at the end there. Yeah. <laughs> Almost, Mr. Potter. I believe no practice is called for. I don't know, I thought it was perfect. Now it's time for the incendio challenge. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the back. Is Ron actually taking notes? Those are spiky bushes. You may cast incendio on them but step back to avoid their needles. I'll watch you from this safe... <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. Like, those spikes are as big as me. <laughs> Impale me. Oh, forgot there's some behind me there. do we get for risking our lives? <laughs> Couple beans. Okay. With all these beans and chocolate frogs hidden everywhere, it's kind of like one big Easter egg hunt. This is a typical species of venomous tentacular, 
Cops incendio to wilt it. I prefer them in this game because they can't. Now collect the challenge stars to complete your lesson. Away you go. Because they can't walk towards you. <laughs> oh dear, I've been impaled. <laughs> Sorry, Harry. Try and do it from the safety of up here. I think it can reach. It could be very wrong. background sounds in the greenhouses. Herbology is probably my favorite of the lessons in this game. Although I think going to Hogwarts either broomstick practice or caramagical creatures would probably be my top picks. Oh, I love the little area under here. I think it's under here. Once again, we require a Lohomora, which if Hermione hadn't taught us, we wouldn't know. <laughs> That's the wrong one, Harry. Magic. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I always loved this little area as a kid. Like, what? What better nice place to go and study? Next to a next to a stream and a little oasis. Oh. There he is. Newt's commander. Celebrated author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Age well. At the point of recording this, only we've only been up to the Crimes of Grindelwald released yet. I forget if they're doing three or four of them. Those vines are attacking that poor tree. First time we've seen another student. That looks like a doxy. In a challenge. Ouch! <coughs> Wait, don't leave me alone. <laughs> It'd be easier to do this together. Oh. Nipendo. Hate doxies. <coughs> Excuse me. Those vines look dangerous. I better not step on them. Such is pretty much everything in this castle here. <laughs> I wonder what this is a precursor for. Incendio! Incendio! Devils. 
little snare, perhaps. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Oh, that barely hurt us. We're fine. I was gonna say something, and I completely forget what it was. I don't know why, they kind of remind me of like mosquitoes from a distance. Up the tree we go. There's not often great need to insect. Oh. oh, thank god Harry can walk on to air. Not often a great need to incendio the... What do you climb? Uh, venomous tentaculas. You can just kind of jump around them. Our favorite little friends. <laughs> the worst. Oh, and a cute little Wingardium Leviosa of locks. Sure, I guess that one counts as being on it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now we're watering the plants. There is a champ. <laughs> For some reason in this game, a hospital wing doesn't really seem to exist. <laughs> so you just gotta accept all the thorns in you, Harry. It's a very elaborate gardening system. <laughs> Okay, and then for some reason this is a different level. Oh, I love this music. Because it's the main... Nonverbal magic, Harry! Wow. They try to jump scary. Oh, nope. Wrong place. Oh, yep. The big one. And once more for safety. Run, run, run. There we go. I believe there's a secret. Yeah. Secret chocolate frog. How cool would it be to have, like, dragon-shaped edges in your yard? Alright. I mean, besides... Besides jumping off of things and dying that way, it's... You're generally not too much in danger of losing enough health to die. Can 
hear more of those chompers in the background. Is there something? Oh no, it was the frog. I have a goldfish memory, so sometimes. Two twenty six. Now, <laughs> never understood why this room is lit like this. It's like the party room, but like the worst party ever. <laughs> and how horrifying is that? <laughs> is he stuck in the stone? Oh, Harry's gonna have such good but upper body strength. Open the door in the disco room. And up we go. It's a wizard card. No. Just beans. Oh dear. Lost a couple. Nope. Come on. There we go. Gotta make sure Harry doesn't grab that to climb. Good. And let's see if we can. Nope. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because there's a frog right here. Ah. The maze. Prepping Harry for the Goblet of Fire. Incendio! Incendio! Which, Incendio! if anyone ever, even, if anyone ever even wants Incendio! to watch this, Incendio! which I'm not Incendio! sure why Incendio! you would. Incendio! I don't know if I'll do the fourth one. I've never actually Incendio! finished it. I've gotten up to the dragon, and then, I don't, it's just such, such a poor game, I don't know. I find it hard even watching Let's Plays of it sometimes. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's the guy that invented the sneak scope. Okay. This makes me want to go buy a chocolate frog. I might do that today. There he is. Edgar Strulger. Enter the sneakoscope. I'm not even really sure what that is. <laughs> well, we're still way behind Slytherin there. And of course, the other two tying for last. They're so underrepresented. I found a... Uh, I found a Ravenclaw shirt the other day and I was so excited because it's so rare to find. I think we're done? Almost. There's just these backwards flipendo panels which has always kind of bothered me. Three. Four. The Fountain of Truth. Yay. Hello, Professor. We did it. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. You've collected all the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now off you go. We did it. Oh, I forgot to... Oh. Maybe it's later that Hagrid is trimmed up? There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. Didn't I've die. Got something I need to talk to you about. Be best to discuss it back at my hut. Meantime, you're gonna be late for your broomstick training. Off you go. Now give me some rock cake, Sagrid. Yeah. There we go. See his masterpiece in a bit. Well, off to broomstick training. Hey, Ron. 
Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Please help me. No. So Longbottom has gone snivelling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remembrance. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> Solitary laugh. Think you can the catch me? <laughs> Come on then, Potter. Give me back Neville's Remembral, Malfoy. You want the Remembral back? See if you can catch it. That's like Harry's first voice acting line in this version of the game. So I realized... <laughs> oh, crap. Let's face it. I realized why I was doing so poorly. I'm used to using the arrow keys. With my right, sorry, I <laughs> cannot I have to focus on this. Oh, lag, lag, ah, lag! Don't crash, game, don't crash, don't crash. Don't. I know, it's not listen. Oh. Ah. Oh no, I was doing okay. <laughs> oh, well, it's good he waited for me. One more, one more. Or did we do it? Okay, one more. Oh, no, we have more to go than I thought. Okay. Come here. Come on, Malfoy. Let me kick your ass. If I don't kill myself first. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is really <laughs> not entertaining, but come on. Why is it being so weird? There. Is it not going down? Is this helped? Using the wrong button. I might be. Feels like it's bugging out for some reason. I always rag on the other games for not letting you have free flying mode. But free flying mode in this game any Anyway. Not the greatest. Is he losing any health? I need to watch it. I don't think he's losing any health. I am. <laughs> I might fail this. to redo this, I think I'll just cut this part out, because this is <laughs> failing epically. <laughs> oh, 
gonna check my oops, jump key. this see if there's any difference at all ah! oh my god Damage my broomstick, Potter. I don't know why. Take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. I don't know why their lines are cutting out. <laughs> You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Come here, Trevor. Come back. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. There are plants there that eat people. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Uh -oh. I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy headmistress of Hogwarts and head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. See you then. <laughs> like, he doesn't even know how to play Quidditch. <laughs> Let alone, like, See how long I've been recording for. Yeah, don't know. Like he doesn't even know how to play Quidditch. <laughs> Let alone having ever trained. He's flown a broom twice, and they're gonna put him on the team this afternoon. Poor kid. Oh. <laughs> ah, just outstanding graphics. Oh, there it is. Well done, Hagrid. That looks good. A lot better than the other bushes around here. I apologize for that horrendous attempt at broomstick I'm doing flying. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird because the first three, three I believe, Harry Potter games across all platforms they were released on are entirely different games. I don't know why they did that. That seems like a lot of unnecessary work. And remember, <laughs> much like the challenges, this is this is just how Hagrid gets home. <laughs> this is how he gets to his house. Does he not want visitors? <laughs> they have to go through a challenge to get there. <laughs> Sounds friendly. It's a pretty turtle, but it shoots fire out of its ass at you. Oh, oh no. Harry. <laughs> Just when I said it's hard. Oh my god. Flamethrower. Just when I say it's hard to die in this game, I am on the brink. Okay, can't get me up here. I hope there's a frog soon. <laughs> now this chest over here is kind of stupid. Because it chucks the beans out onto the ground. I don't quite feel like as much as I is there unless there's a frog. Uh oh, hold on. 
Was there a frog? I don't think this way. Oh, there's a safe book at least. Just gotta get around these guys, which at this point is not too bad. There we go. There we go. Like, does Hagrid reset up this log every time? He doesn't even really have a wand. Ugh. Die. Oh, there's another one. Get back here. No, Harry. Okay. Jeez. You can tell we're in first year. <laughs> Good, there's another one. There we go. Okay. One of the sides has a chest. Sit this side. Yes. Wonderful. Yet in the later games. Hagrid's hut. Easy to get to. You don't have to rotate gigantic lo logs. Battle for your life. <laughs> Although, I am an introvert, so I, I get it, Hagrid. This would work to deter visitors, that's for sure. Almost there. Can't say we're not getting practice. Oh. Duh. Into the dank caves. I always like the caves in here. They're pretty. Do the pre professors have to go through this kind of stuff to get to their offices? <laughs> and there's the inventor of the snitch. You can hear me over this waterfall. <laughs> Ooh, Ravenclaw. Damn, catching up. I mean, no. In this game, we're a Gryffindor. Uh, here you are, Bowman Wright. Famous for developing the Golden Snitch. Okay. Out we wait. Yeah, out we go. How do we? <laughs> Did I miss? Oh, I think I. Oh, missed something back there, didn't I? Oh, 
Oh. Jeez. That's not intuitive at all. Not gonna lie, I was tempted to use Harry Potter Super Jump there. Which I'll demonstrate at one point, because it's really fun. <laughs> Debug is a lot more fun in the second game. I would spend hours messing with it. But sometimes it would just break the game. <laughs> this guy looks evil. Who is he? Where is he? Ah. Herpo the Fowl. First known creator of the Basilisk. Oh. It's a shame that that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go this way. And to Hagrid's we go. Which, oh, I love all the music in this game. All these games, really. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there for today. Thank you for coming along with me. Defying death, <laughs> which I'm sure we'll do have more of next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part four.